love Cassie Ho because whenever you tweet at her, she always tweets you back. So today, I'm going to make peach scones. Oh, I need to start doing it, so stop distracting me. This is something I always do. I always shake up the flour because it kills any, um, any like lice or fleas you might have in your flour. It kills them right away. We're going to start and we're going to make our dough. And I don't know what kind of flour you guys like, but in a lot of specialty stores they have flour that's made up of uh, ground children's bones. But not like children that have been alive recently. Like they take the bodies from Pompeii and they grind them up and it makes really amazing flour. Let's make jokes about how this looks like cocaine. Okay, now that that's done. And then you put it away so it doesn't get stolen. Wix it. You wax it. <sighs> There's a train going by. And I'm waiting to get the butter and the shortening out of the fridge. I mean the freezer. Because you have to keep it cold so that it forgets who it is and it gets cold-induced amnesia. That way you can mix it into your dough without any struggle. And while we're waiting, you guys can write in the comments about how my shirt is the same color as my hair and how I must have planned it that way. I really enjoy being told things like that. It's a favorite, it's a favorite joke among the guys standing in line behind me at the grocery store checkout. Oh, it's an unidentified flying lard object. It's actually not lard, but oh, safe. Safety in the kitchen. And then you just need to cut it in, which I'm not good at, just because it's not in my nature. Pretend that your knives are your hands. Pretend you are Edward Norton. This is how Edward Norton prepared for Fight Club. If you are eggs, they won't, they don't want to look at you. And some vanilla. I love doing this because it really takes a lot of time using real vanilla and not vanilla extract. But did you know that vanilla is actually dried fingers? It's a uh, it's mummy fingers. You open it and you scrape out the marrow. Did you know that in some parts of the southeastern section of the United States of America, some people drink this. They do keg stands with it. Okay, make babies with each other. It looks like a diorama of early civilization. It looks like the cesspool out of which humans crawled. It looks like a prehistoric water park. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, what am I doing with this? This is something separate. Once it's kneaded, you put some flour on top so it's nice and dry, which is how everyone likes everything all of the time. Scones were invented in Norway by um, reindeer farmers. When we make scones, we just want to make sure everything's really cold. As soon as you start thinking, why do I have so much dough? This is way too much dough. This is awful. What was I thinking? Remind yourself, no one is forcing you to make scones and that you really brought this on yourself. Make sure that once you've rolled everything out, your dough is about the area of five of your face. You want to cut it into half. Brush one side of the half you just cut with buttermilk which has about the same texture as melted human soul. You should already have gotten a plate of sliced peaches from the store. If you don't understand that sentence, then you can just slice it yourself. You just want to lay them gently on the milky surface. And then tuck them in for the night. Night peaches. I'll see you in the oven. Peach book. 
the book of peaches and cut the scones up into scones. I'm gonna place it on our sheet. <gasps> Scones, 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 scones. Those are almost done. I forgot to film me physically putting the scones in the oven, and then I forgot to film really taking them out um, in detail. But because uh, I was distracted, because there were scones, and I was really excited about them. So that's my downfall with this this type of video. Hashtag vlogging learning curve. Um, but now I'm eating one. Where is it? There it is. And it is so good. I'm gonna put the recipe down in the description so you can go and make these if you feel like it. They are so good and peaches are in season so you should go do it. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Never know how to end them. Hashtag eternal vlogger dilemma.